Hey guys, it's Lala. Welcome back to my channel. So I have for you guys today a Dollar Tree haul. Uh, before I get started, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to click this video. Hope that you stay, hang out with us. If you're returning, as always, welcome back. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to get into the Dollar Tree haul. So I did find a couple new things. Um, this was not like a huge Dollar Tree shop. I actually went with a friend and we were looking for some specific items and I grabbed a few extra things. So anyways, let me go ahead and get started. The first thing I found is this um, Dollar Tree sign. Now I've been looking for it, but I hadn't found it at any of my stores. This is a pretty big sign and it says kissing booth. Pucker up, five cents only. That's a really cheap kiss, I have to say. Um, open daily, but it's very, very cute. And I do plan on using this in decor around my home. Um, I usually don't purchase anything when I don't plan on using it. So um, I'm gonna be filming a Valentine's Day kind of decorate with me. So you should be seeing this and that. The next thing I found, this was a name brand item and I was excited for it. It's Quaker and it's instant oatmeal. And the flavor, the only flavor that I saw at this store was strawberry banana. And I absolutely freaking love oatmeal. It's so good. And I was like, why would I not get it? It's got six packets in here. So it's like a regular full size box. And the expiration date, in case you're wondering, is March 18th of 2022 so there is plenty of shelf life on here and cannot wait to eat some all right i needed some paint brushes so this is the crafter square brush set you get two of them you get like a larger size as well as this very fine tip uh, i needed these for some crafting that i'm doing this was very cute and i had to get it i don't know if it's new or not but i don't remember seeing it so it's a unicorn of course i mean in case you didn't notice like if you're new unicorns are my thing okay but anyways um and it opens up and you can keep anything in it you can use it as decor i plan on using it probably for de decoration only um but it's so beautiful the silver on the unicorn um like all, all around the edges of it is foiled so i hope you guys can see that it's beautiful and then also in case, and then the back of it has this design here and same thing on the front and the bottom. Uh, Dollar Tree has new organizational bins and baskets and this is one I had been on the hunt for um, and it's this here. This is gorgeous. Um, I got it in like this kind of uh, sandy pink color. You can see that's the color of it here and it, it's not super deep. The lid comes off this way. You can unlock it like this. Lid comes off. And this is it here. And it's just called a storage box. That's what they're calling it. And um, I really wanted this to organize some of my crafting supplies that I'm going to be or that I am acquiring. And I have been acquiring for my Etsy shop that's going to be... Um, live for you guys very soon but diva does it and i are still working on getting items made and getting um, inventory together so um once that's done i'll be i'll be sharing with you the etsy shop name so excited for it i have to just say that i have been on the hunt for this item since like my birthday of last year which is july um i finally saw it now there is a bigger one that i still haven't found but i did find the smaller one and it's the candy jar with a lid and you can hold it like this at an angle. You can set it upright. The lid, now it isn't a screw on, it does just come on and off. So I wouldn't recommend putting anything in here um, storage wise that could go bad. But if you're having a get together and you wanna have something in it, or if you have individually wrapped items, this would be perfect. Very, very cute. I love it. Again, I don't necessarily need it right this second, but I have wanted it many times and couldn't find it. So I at least grabbed one while I could. This is not new, this is Greg's. He needed a new loofah and so I grabbed him one. I also got this on, this isn't new, I've never purchased it, but I've been seeing it in the Crofter Square area for a while. And this right here is a cutting mat and it is not large, you know, you can see here how, how big it is, but I wanted to have this um, for some measuring and stuff that I'm doing. Now I do have a Cricut Joy and so it's not a full size Cricut. And um, I feel like this would be perfect for some of the things that I'm making. Since a lot of the things I'm making are not very large projects, they are relatively small 
for um, you know for stickers for planners or cups and things like that. So I feel like this was this was a perfect find. This I think is an amazing deal for $1.25 and it has also been on my wish list for a while and it's just one of their glass storage jars but the size of this is absolutely phenomenal like this is such a big I have a big head but like this is such a big nice chic jar you think that's the lid and it is a screw off <laughs> lid and it does have like a rubber um, lining on the inside so you could use this um, you know for in your I'm planning on using this in my kitchen um, you know, you could put flour, tea bag, sugar, whatever you want to use. And I did purchase two of them because for $1.25, you're not going to beat this. Um, you can add a label. You could do whatever you want to it. You could even keep it in your office if you want to store crafting items in it. I mean, it's a storage jar. You can do what you want. But I purchased this for my kitchen. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know how much I love headbands with the little knots in them. Um, and so they had a couple of a couple of new ones that I had to get because I thought they were really cute. Um, this one here is like a burgundy red color. And you can see here it has the knot at the top and it's got like white pinstripes on it. Can you guys see that? I don't know how well it's showing up, but I absolutely love this one. And then I got the same design, but in black with white pinstripes. Well, you guys can see the stripes on that one. And I really love how these look. I'm going to kind of put it in my hair to show you what I like. I just, and something else I'll tell you. See, I just love how this looks. I don't know. I just love the knot headbands. And another thing I like about these is hopefully you guys can see it. There's like these little teeth inside along the edges of these. So they really get a good grip in your hair. And some of the other ones that they have, they don't have those little teeth in it. So I love these. Okay, just a few items left. I got myself some of the, a sandpaper set. It's a 36 pieces and it is just squares of sandpaper. It says it's four and a half by five and a half inches, waterproof, abrasive paper, um, abrasive paper for wood. And so yeah, I needed this for crafting. Also, I need electrical tape. Again, this is for crafting. It's not for any like electrical reasons, but it does come with two pretty good size rolls. Uh, so I figured I would give it a try. Hopefully it sticks pretty well. Um, but two of these for $1.25, I think it's a pretty good deal. And my very last item is actually, I'm gonna go in my youngest niece Nova in her Valentine's Day goodie bag. And it's this super cute little like hard book. And it says love bugs. I think it's so freaking cute. It's shaped like a heart. And it says on the back, it says, what do bugs love? Find out in this delightfully illustrated book. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. It's different little love bugs and little, you know, well, like for example, the first page says, lady loves a lazy day on her leaf. And that's ladybug and this one it says millie enjoys nibbling on strawberries so it's just super cute my niece is three and i just thought this would be a nice little addition to her valentine's day bag now those are all the dollar tree items i did get but i did go to hobby lobby the same day and i got just like four things so i want to go ahead and just show you what those are actually i lied they're five um so i got some acrylic paints i needed some i had bought acrylic paints from dollar tree they were absolutely terrible. They applied very, they streaked, they were, um, they, when they were applied, they were very streaky. They did not dry very well. Um, they're also, they come right off with water. So it was not what I was looking for. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I got acrylic paints. So the colors I got, this is a blue color and it's called Ink Spot. And it's like a dark blue. I also got this kind of a sky blue color and it's called Ocean Cruise. I also got this, it's like a turquoise teal, um, and it is aqua, it's like an aqua blue. And then finally I got a pink and it's called podge pink. That's what it looks like there. And the last item I got is a, it's by Bead Treasures. It's a, it's a hot fix tool. And that's what it looks like there. Just a hot fix tool um, for rhinestones. And then that's what it comes with in the back. It has the hot fix tool and all the pieces that go with it. So just a crafting item. I believe this was $29.99. And the paints were like $1.89. And I think those were also 40% off if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I have the receipt right here. 
they were. They were 30% off, so they were $1.11 each. And that is my Dollar Tree with a sprinkle of Hobby Lobby haul. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean a lot to me if you could go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, it helps my channel and it shows me the um, content you guys are interested in. So oh, here's my question for this week. Comment down below and answer this. Would you consider yourself a Dollar Tree addict? Do you identify as a Dollar Tree addict? Like, do you just love it? Like me personally, I look at what they show on Instagram. I look at the website to see what's new. I like to watch Dollar Tree hauls. It, it's like the thrill of the hunt for me. So I really enjoy it. So comment down below and let me know about you and your dollar and your love for the Dollar Tree. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.